And we're rolling. Norm over here for the Vintage Guitar Minute here for the All Guitar Network. This is a beautiful 1967 Telecaster. And what's really cool about this, it's still lacquer finished on the fingerboard here on the neck. Um, you know, they went to the polyurethane after that. Still got the white wrap around the pickup. This is a maple cap, which it's a maple neck, but with uh, no skunk stripe. This, the fingerboard is actually put on above the neck, uh, where the other ones are a one-piece neck and they have a route here. And that's what the, uh, um, that skunk stripe is for so they can insert the truss rod. The way they do this is they do this as if it was like a rosa neck where the whole board is off. They put the rod in and then they put the maple cap on here. They only did this for a very short time. Beautiful example of a 67 Tele in the uh, cream color, Tele cream, white guard. Uh, just a really nice example of a great guitar. And I got a really special guitar, kind of for a vintage moment. This is a 61 Jazzmaster, but this thing is so clean. It's a slab board, just one of the cleanest that I've ever seen. Beautiful three-tone sunburst, rosewood fingerboard with the clay dots, slab fingerboard, uh, which has the rounded extended lamination, um, original brown case. This thing is just as clean as you could possibly get for an instrument like that. And of course my phone's ringing right away, but I won't be interrupted. Hang on please, I'll be right with you. But look at this thing. This thing is out of control clean. Just one of the nicest ones we've ever had. Beautiful 61 Jazzmaster slab board, three-tone sunburst, an original case, hardly played. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. And this is one of the most beautiful ES330s, 1960, that I've ever seen. Uh, this is, uh, I've got the two black P90s. It's an ES330 TD, which is the thin double pickup. Uh, dot neck fingerboard, totally original guitar that's just in stunning condition. Uh, one of my favorite models. Um, they're lightweight, they're completely hollow. Different from the 335s, got the uh, ABR1 trapeze tailpiece. Uh, just an amazing example of one of the most beautiful 330s I've ever seen, right here at the All Guitar Network, Norm's Rare Guitars, and this is the uh, Vintage Guitar Minute right here. Very cool guitar. Okay. So this is one of the most beautiful Gibson harp guitars that I've ever had. Uh, this was also owned by the famous bluegrass picker Dan Crary. And um, just an outstanding instrument. There's uh, a number of people that play these and know what they're doing on these. I don't, but uh, you know, it plays like a regular guitar on this. And then there's these uh, strings that you can kind of hit and then play chords and you know, play the bass note here and then uh, play the chord on this. And uh, as you can see, it's got the trapeze tail piece. Um, in a really nice condition. This is turn of the century, probably around 1910, 12, somewhere in there. Um, just a beautiful example of a really rare Gibson instrument. This is kind of museum quality. And here's the letter from Dan, you know, just explaining a little bit about the guitar. Great. And it has its original case where a lot of these, you don't find them with the original cases. Just an amazing example of a great guitar.